guys this garage is getting absolutely ridiculous it is just overflowing with fishing gear fishing tackle miscellaneous stuff i got my tools here all my lawn stuff bicycles scooters it is getting to the point where i'm having trouble even finding stuff i got things just piled in drawers cabinets everywhere you see is packed with fishing tackle fishing gear tackle boxes just stuff absolutely everywhere it's getting too much i'm spending more time trying to find stuff i don't even know what i got i know that cooler right there is packed out with fishing gear both those buckets it's getting absolutely ridiculous and spring is here so it's going to be a lot of in and out trips quick trips but i'm having trouble even locating what i want to fish with this is something i've wanted to do for a while now we have this shed out here this is a great shed it's climate controlled we got a new roof on it after sally but this guy has become like a catch-all like anything that we don't know what to do with goes in the shed and as you can see it looks about like my garage <laughs> if not worse so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna clean out this shed we're gonna figure out what to do with all this stuff um a lot of it's probably gonna go in the attic things like that things i use like once a year i got to get all of Maddie's art supplies out of here and figure out what to do with that that's like you know organized way she ain't gonna get mad at me she has actually moved her stuff onto the porch she used to use this as her little art shed she'd do a lot of projects in here um, a lot of painting and things like that but when we started selling like panhandle salt products getting like huge order of buckets in and things like that i kind of took over the shed because i needed like a back stock storage and again like that's what this has turned into um here's all our like event stuff where we use for events and Madi has migrated to the porch which is cooler right she's like right there by the house we got a tv hanging out there she feels more comfortable working at night like on the porch instead of in like the scary shed with cockroaches and lizards and stuff but now like i said it's like it's not being used for anything specific just storage so the project is guys is we're going to get this thing cleaned out and we're going to turn this into like a fishing man cave like it's time to take the garage back you know i'll keep like my gear in here right i'll keep the kayaks in here the rods and reels things like that but as far as like all this tackle this is piled up and all these drawers and all these cabinets i need to get it in an organized way we work with a lot of sponsors with panhandle salt and obviously they send this stuff right send us tackle send us gear and i really don't know what i have i mean i know i have it <laughs> but i've never i don't have it in a way that i can like look at it so the vision is is to turn that shed into like a little mini tackle shop all four walls are filled with pegboard so it's going to be super cool i can hang up everything i'm going to put my rig tying station in there we're going to get a tv in there i'll probably put some like outdoor furniture like couches and stuff like that in there also and it's going to become a cave y'all the tackle cave and honestly guys i really don't even know <laughs> like where to start so i'm gonna start digging through everything and get everything that i can hang like on a wall i guess i'll get that uh into the shed or by the shed and then start figuring it out from there oh man what do we even have in here got some juice some lures this is my little inshore box and yeah here we go we're packed out with salt strong stuff in here get all that out and i just want to get everything figure out like where i'm going to put everything by company right so i'll hang all the salt strong in one spot i have a lot of knock and tail stuff um bird of prey a lot of rigs southern salt bait co i just got i got a lot of plastics a lot of plastics a lot of rigs a lot of terminal tackle so yeah i think i'm just gonna get it all in here first and then figure out where to go from there or should i pull everything out of here first that would probably be the smartest idea is to pull everything out and then kind of start fresh like with a new palette but again i don't even know where to put all this stuff this is going to be a big job guys it's going to be a big job it's going to be a multiple day job so i'll probably be recording this video for weeks <laughs> before it finally comes out guys an hour and a half and this is what i've come up with i am just getting things out of bins out of the garage onto the wall um i don't know if i will keep this stuff here or not i'm organizing it by company again just getting it up 
once I do have everything out of here and really kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with it, I might move all that stuff, but it's going to be a lot easier because it's already on the pegs. I just take the peg out and I can move it to another section of wall. It's already organized by company. I'm even kind of going like surf fishing and then inshore. And this is just a fraction of what I got going on guys. And again, an hour and a half. All right, let's get back to it. how many popping corks I had. I had no idea how many popping corks I had, guys. <laughs> Look at all these things. So we got the Southern Salt. We got a nice big row, two sections actually of knock and tail, three sections of knock and tail. Then we have our Slam Series, followed up by the Power Prawns. And then we have some miscellaneous. I got some slicks and some trout tricks there left over I found. Forgot about those trout tricks. Got in all my popping corks, obviously. My Pompano Rich my red fin fishing, my bird of prey terminal. I got some panhandle salt rigs tied up. I like to throw one of those in orders. When people order stuff, I'll throw a rig in there. And now I'm gonna get into the lures. I got a lot of miscellaneous lures laying around, so we'll get those up next. And then I just found this, forgot all about it. CMB custom jig heads. We gotta get these up there. Madi just came out here and realized what I was doing. Surprisingly, guys, she took it well. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna move some more stuff onto the porch. I'm gonna put a few things in the attic. And we have a lot of framed pictures out here of Madi's work. And we're just gonna hang it up at the house. We have a lot of wall space that's unattended. So, worked out, guys. I am taking over the shed. All right, guys, day two of the Shed Tackle Shop project. It's about noon. I've been editing videos all morning, but I'm starting to kind of unload it. Obviously, I put everything back in the shed last night, not to get dew and stuff like that on it. And it's only been one day, and I'm already getting opinions on what should go down in here. So I got a good idea for a clubhouse. One side could be my side. One side could be my dad's side. There you go. Got that red button on the side. Like this? Down there. You can turn it on for you? Like this? Yeah, you're just gonna keep it on the ground. Hold that. Ready? All right, guys, it is coming together. I'm basically getting all the big stuff in here and not really settling it, just kind of getting it in so I have all the larger items in, and that way I can figure out what I want to do with it after it, you know, utilizing the space I have. But this is what we got so far. We got the rig tying station right here next to the window so I can get like a lot of natural light and I also have some shelves and then the cabinet space up there, again, next to the rig tying station for back stock, right? All my beads and floats and things like that. It's an easy reach. 
if this is the spot I'm gonna keep it, what I'll do is hang up some pegboard trays here to have like my floats and beads and hooks like out of the bag in individual trays for easy grab so I can grab them, set them on the table. Let's say if I'm tying up 100 greens. Once I'm done, I can put it back up, grab the next one and so forth. But we still have a lot of space to work with guys. I'm excited. I had more space than I thought. I mean, I still got all this space behind the door where like the tackle wall is. We got a big area down here. And then across from the rig tying station, we have an entire wall still, another half a wall here. And I put my grandfather's cabinet, the catch-all, put it right here by the door, just seemed a fitting spot for it. I believe I'm gonna mount a TV right here. So it's right in front of the rig tying station. Yeah, it's moving along. Let me figure out what's next. this point guys I believe I have all like big structures that I'm gonna put in here I'll probably add a little knickknacks here and there but this is gonna be the bulk of it I have my catch-all tackle cabinet here then I have a huge big shelving system here on the back wall I got a couple more little shelves here where basically I'm putting packing supply and then backup baggies inserts for rigs things like that I got the tying station here and then the tackle wall. I just added a fan, got a little air conditioning unit here. I also have a little space heater. So really now it's just organizing the porch and the garage and figuring out what else is gonna come in here fishing related. Let me show you this mess. Still got the yard full of stuff. All these big boxes are buckets. The porch is an absolute disaster. Madi is being real cool about this. <laughs> She hasn't said anything about me just destroying her little art space here. But here's the other half of the porch where I did have my tying station. As you can see, there is still crap everywhere strode around. We're going to have to reorganize all this. And I'm picking apart the garage. The garage is a disaster, guys. This is where that big shelving unit came from. So I got to get stuff off this back shelf that'll go in the shed a lot of stuff over here will go in the shed and really i'm going to take advantage of this opportunity and really cull through everything probably trash a bunch of this stuff donate a lot of it and really see what i got in here get up in the attic because you know life takes over guys we just get to moving and get to throwing stuff around and we're constantly getting more stuff in so it just kind of lands in a spot and that's where it lives this is gonna be a great opportunity to cull through all this stuff and really clean house. Spring cleaning. Seven and a half hours, guys, I have been at it. And I am getting close to being done. Uh, the garage is completely organized. I kind of, I've been bouncing back and forth because I was running out of daylight and I wanted to get everything out of the yard. I had stuff all over this driveway in the front yard and the backyard. Pollen, dude. Pollen, guys, was all over everything. So the garage has been situated. 
I got my kayak back off in this corner now. I've cleared out the middle area for all the big stuff. The tractor, Thunder's Jeep, beach cart, beach dolly, things like that. I took that shelf out, so that's how I was able to get this kayak over there. And I got another shelf in here for Maddie. I'll let her put whatever she wants on there as far as her art supplies, stuff that she doesn't use all the time, like out on the porch, and kind of keep it out of the way. So garage is good. I'm satisfied with the garage, and it's clean. I cleaned everything. The porch is still a disaster, but it's kind of coming together. Uh, I got all this area cleaned. I got some seating back for the TV. Um, these are all my back stock buckets, right? I didn't have any place to put them, so I'm just going to keep them on the porch here. I believe after the spring tournament, I'll go through most of these. That's coming up in a couple weeks anyway, so they won't be out here long. But I still have Marty's area to deal with. I need to get everything cleaned again because of the pollen and just reorganize this, figure out what she wants to do with some stuff. A lot of stuff I can even put in the attic. I was able to clear out like two huge plastic bins with lids so I can put a lot of her back stock stuff in there and get it up in the attic. But let's head out to the shed, y'all. I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out what to name it. <laughs> Gonna name it something. Walking in, I got my mailbox. Deerfield Fabrication made this for me. This is where I keep my flyers, like when I'm running, uh, running guides on the beach. Super cool little touch. And guys, this is not organized by any means. I was just kind of throwing stuff in here at the end. Again, I'm running out of daylight. But this is basically how the setup's going to be. I got like my main focus, right? Tying rigs. Tying rigs, and I was able to get my Bird of Prey tailgate cutting board on top of that table. And I think I'm going to leave it there. It's real easy just to move this whenever I need it. But it's a cool little backdrop. Tying rigs and everything. I love it. It's made out of the same material, this starboard. So it's going to be easy to clean up and all that. So I'm pretty sure that's where that's going to live. I'm just not going to keep a lot of stuff on top of it. Kind of be disciplined, putting things back where they go. And that way when I need it really quick, I'm just basically moving the rig time board, grabbing it and throwing it in the truck. My two shelves over here. This again is for like packing material. Um, I got some more leader over there. Some inserts ready to go. I'm going to use this top as like my electronics because... This is the only plug in the shed. So obviously I got a power strip running here and I'll keep like my Swell Pro charger. Um, I got my little space heater up here, uh, battery for the kayak, for the fish finder. And I'm probably gonna put some sort of surface on this like with some plywood or something just to kind of keep it level. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna do all my charging. Some miscellaneous stuff kind of thrown over here. Again, nothing's really organized. I was able to get all my back stock beads and floats from Frisky in one bin. And then here behind me, I started getting some trays up. This is what I was talking about for like the quick grab. Like, so if I'm tying 50 blue bead rigs with the blue floats, I can just pop these trays off, get them on the board here. When I'm done, put them back, grab the next. Moving back to the tackle wall, I did add my inshore rides, guys. I got those out of the garage, I got them in here. I don't really like this spot like I know they're there so I'm easy with the door but thunder somebody like that comes busting through here they might hit me so I might end up doing like a full rearrange in here once I get in here and just like really start working and figuring out the movement of the place I'll have a better idea of where things should go started kind of throwing some stuff up on the walls as i could got my ghost shrimp pup up there this is where all the sand spikes will live inside that bucket again i got the the catch all ready to go all cleaned up and then this back shelf here this is my basic storage man i got all my coolers down there this is some other little drawers that i throw stuff in um all my straps so i have a bunch of straps for the kayak for the back of the truck and things like that this is my little swell pro section here Got my wheels and then back stock with hats. I got beanies and I got our fishing towels all up top. My waders and then my inshore box here. Cast net. I got some bait buckets here in the back. Some nets on the wall. My backpack coolers. Yeah, guys. I was able to get it all in here, man. I am super proud about this. I need to get a TV in here somehow. <laughs> I'm going to worry about that later. But uh, yeah, that will seal the deal and get some, get some YouTube going. 
So I'm gonna cap off day two. I got one more day, right? I need to still get in there and organize and then really feel it out and say, is this how I wanna keep everything or am I gonna switch everything back around? Which probably might happen. But it's been two full days of work, guys. You know, I just wasn't dealing with the shed. I, once I started the shed, now I'm dealing with the porch and the garage. So I definitely had to bite the bullet and lay down the fishing rods this week. And I didn't fish once in the last 48 hours. And this is usually my fishing time. But hopefully I can flex some hours at work during this week. The kids are home at spring break. Be able to get out there and get some sessions in before and after work. I got a few guides coming up this week also. We still got one more day. So we'll pick it back up on day three. Day three, guys, we are putting the finishing touches on this shed. I just got off work. Overnight, I was back and forth with one decision and I had exited out. I was like, no, I don't need that in there. But as I thought through my eight hours of work today, I was like, yeah, I'm putting it in. So we're going to put this final touch on there, guys, and then the shed will be ready. the hole all right let's run the cord the moment of truth power anything oh my goodness it's asking me to connect the Wi-Fi guys come on baby yes
No girls! No girls allowed! Boys only club, wow. my mom. <laughs> You want to tie up some rigs or something? No. What are you going to do? This is the rig tying shed, man. That was the TV. This is not the TV shed. Yes, it is. <laughs>